Hey there guys, it's Dr. Steve from Elevate Sport and Spine here in Denver. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video to talk about something that is pretty important with most core exercises that sometimes doesn't dawn on me that I'm not really speaking the same language with my patients. And that's talking about how to kind of brace your abdominal muscles versus hollowing them. Um, in the past, like most of the time when I tell people to kind of shore things up through here, their tendency, because they've been taught this in a lot of other classes, to do more of a hollowing maneuver. Uh, and what that does is when people tell you to kind of draw your belly button in towards the spine, it creates a little bit of elongation here through the spine. And it's something that we were taught in school and then other physical therapists and things that have been integrating this technique for many years to kind of teach people how to do, you know, more core activity because it did increase um, levels of transverse abdominis, which is part of your uh, core muscles but it does kind of isolate that muscle and not integrate it well into the rest of the way that our body is supposed to move. So while we do teach people that, it was kind of leading people down the wrong path and making them a little bit more susceptible to injury when they were trying to do these things because when they isolate that one muscle, it does turn off other muscles in the core system which do uh, increase instability in the low back. Uh, there's lots of studies out there on this about how certain muscles fire and things like that. And if you want to look them up, I would encourage you to look up um, abdominal hollowing versus bracing and then look up any scholarly articles that come up and you can kind of see what it is that they're talking about. Um, but the proper technique that I like to teach my patients now um, is a thing called bracing. Uh, and what we're looking for with bracing is to try and get all of the muscles of the core to coordinate at the same time so that they can stiffen up this abdominal area and allow our body to take kind of insult from different directions without kind of predisposing the lumbar spine to instability and pain. Uh, so usually what I tell people, instead of that kind of drawing in technique that we try to do, is it's more of a pushing out. Uh, what we want to try and do is think about pushing air kind of down into our belly like we're blowing up one of those tiny, like, balloon dog balloons, because if you've ever tried one of those, I'm sure you know how hard it is. So we're, we really want to kind of push out, and what that does is it creates Kind of pressure down in through here but you can see that while i'm doing that that i can still breathe and talk and everything like that but i should be able to kind of feel that there is tension kind of built up all the way around so what i would do to just try this is just think about blowing into something like one of those little balloons and then you'll feel everything kind of tighten up and i want you just to feel uh, around there and see if there's any soft spots in there that you can try to focus a little bit more on by pressing out and get pretty solid uh, firmness all the way around versus if you want to try the other one and see how it feels that hollowing maneuver what we do is draw that belly button in and you can see it kind of makes me taller and I'm having a little bit more trouble speaking here like that when I'm doing hollowing but as you can try this out you'll feel that you're not quite so rigid through the front and particularly through the back area which is the opposite of what we want to get with that bracing so we'll feel that in through there the other thing that I don't really want you guys doing is blowing that belly out either so we need to create some sort of resistance to that so if you just think about stopping your belly from coming out you should feel a lot of pressure that gets built up kind of between uh, the top, bottom, and all the way around, and what that's known as is intra-abdominal pressure. And the higher up that we can get that number to be, the more stability there tends to be, particularly when we're doing things like lifting um, or twisting and things like that. Uh, so I encourage you to give that a try when you're doing any of your core exercises, be it planks or yoga, or when you're doing any of your lifts in CrossFit or at the gym or otherwise, and see how much more stable that makes your back feel, particularly if you're someone that tends to suffer from having their back kind of come in and out. Um, if you ever have any questions more about this technique and ways to challenge it and things like that, please feel free to reach out to me here at the clinic. Uh, other than that, I want you to have a good day and then we'll see you next time. Take care.